Hello legends. Can you hear me? I hope you can. Welcome to the stream everybody. Hopefully you should now be able to see me as well. Look at that. The wonders of technology. Welcome to another weekend league stream. We have our main man Dr. J live in the chat. Dr. J, how are you man? How's everyone else up in the chat? And um Oh it's been a busy weekend. I've been to Liverpool this weekend. So I was in Chester today, went to Chester Zoo. Um, the vlog of that will be up sometime in the future. Um, there's a lot of editing in like a zoo vlog, you know, there's all the animals and stuff. and It's a lot of work when you do a zoo vlog, but I love them. But um, yeah, so there'll be a video of that sh real soon, I suppose, I should say. I'm good, Jam, I'm just tired. I feel knackered, honestly. I feel so, like, I'm on the, these boys, that's, that's how you know it's legit, when the, the green monster come out. You know, when that's good, when you're excited about monster, something's on. What is going on in the club? Oh, there's some new evolutions available. Uh, Dill wing defense. Tricky Ricardo. What does that do? I take a player's skill moves. I'm weak foot to the max. What a weird. Oh, and plus the dead ball playstyle plus. That's actually a good. Can you deep put anyone in it? No. Only certain players. And it doesn't even add any overall. That's gone. Jay's tired also. Ethan's in the chat. Ethan, what are you saying, man? How are you? Birthday magic. Oh, Peter Crouch can have a bit of that. Let's do that. We're going to get Peter Crouch in the birthday magic evo. Let's get him going. Come on, Peter. And then what's birthday magic 2? Is that just a second player you can do that with? Um... Yeah, it's just the second one. So there's two footed attack, which looks nice. Who's eligible for that? Peter Crouch is at the moment. I don't know if he will still be at the end. I don't think he will. Um, that's the same thing. Silky centre half. Oh, Joel Maps available. I like the look of that. So that'll be the next one we do. That will be the next one we do. So we're going to be playing Weekend League as always. You guys know the job by now. We play a bunch of that's rivals, that's not Weekend League. Um, my PlayStation controller is fairly low on battery. So if I'm sitting in like some weird hunch position, guys, like this, it's because I want to have my sharp... Con my you can tell I'm tired. I want to have my controller on charge. We've got some squad battle rewards. Let's do them before we play any games, just to give us a, a kind of chill start. Was there any packs in there? Yeah, it was two. Two, two, two. Let's go. France. Not Mbappe. I'm good even, man. We got Matteo. Don't think Matteo is worth any sort of money, really. But Dante. He's slow. Some quick sales and stuff as well. Like at this point in FIFA, who cares about coins really? Also, I packed Killian and Bappe last week. Not on stream. Ethan's flexing them emotes. If you want the emotes like Ethan, you got to be a member. The word "member" just makes you think of South Park. You know? Got to get your member berries. We'll get them solved. And then we'll get into some games. I'm excited for this stream. Like I say, I'm somewhat asleep. I'm in Liverpool this weekend. Um stayed in Chester instead of Liverpool, which is like a city outside of Liverpool. 
Um, because we were going to the zoo, so it just made sense. Like, rather than staying near Anfield where it's super busy because the game's on. Um, it's dead unless you sweat champs. Yeah, it's it's reached that point, isn't it, man? Um, I actually thought about getting football manager. Um, although I won't be getting it like tomorrow or anything because some evil person or maybe desperate person has um stolen my debit card details. So I am without a debit card at the moment, guys. He's putting Crouch on the bench enough for him to either. I don't think it is, is it? <laughs> Blaze, what's up, man? How are you doing? Hope I get it sorted. Cheers, man. So I've ordered a new card, but I have no debit card until they deliver my new card. So like, I can't buy anything. Which isn't an ideal place to be in the world, you know. I, man, I can imagine. Did you did you go to the open bus tour to celebrate it? Also, though, what do you think? Like, I know you might be excited about Wembley, but what do you think of the semis being at Wembley? I don't like it still. Like. Like, I don't know, I just don't like the fact that it's the semis at Wembley. You don't like it either? Yeah, I think it should be like like neutral, like a lot of them used to be Villa Park, didn't they? Or Old Trafford, if it wasn't United, like Old Trafford would hold them. Yeah, it makes the final less special, definitely. I get that it's the reason they do it at Wembley. <sighs> Stevie G. Tell you what, I went to watch Liverpool Legends yesterday. Um, you might not have seen the vlog, you might have Steven Gerrard and Fernando Torres linking up. Rolling back the years, it was amazing. Honestly, it was special to see. And I saw Edgar Davids, but I didn't even realise he was going to be there. And then, like, Alex made a substitution, and then it's all like, oh, Edgar Davids. I was like, what? Edgar Davids, that's awesome. London Stadium, yeah, if they want to have it in London still, London Stadium is a big stadium, isn't it? Like, all about the corporate sponsors, aren't it? A lot of people have like criticised Klopp for taking Salah off, but um, you know, obviously I know you're not a Liverpool fan, mate. So you probably didn't watch Liverpool Thursday, but in the Europa League game, Salah was about to be subbed off after 60 minutes, and Bobby Clark got injured and had to go off. So Mo Salah played half hour longer than he was supposed to, anyway. So I don't actually think he could physically do more than the 70 minutes. Like, I think a lot of people were like, oh, it's a tactical thing, it's a bad decision. I honestly think it was like a like a medical sort of situation. Oh, the thing is, over the 90 minutes, like... United were probably better in the first half, Liverpool were probably better most of the second half. Like... Probably like the first 30 minutes of the second half, I'd say. Um, but in extra time, Liverpool were awful. Absolutely awful. Like, United deserve to win. I'll be the first to admit it. Like, honestly, I'll be the first person. The whole... Yeah, you press so good. And it was great as well to press against us. Because people don't. Do you know what I mean? But that was the other thing I thought, like, Nunes coming off, like, although Nunes was looking knackered as well. He just, it was just, yeah, it was, it was painful. Like, I'm not going to lie, if the team had been bothering me that we lost, because I pissed it off. And because it was a Sunday, I had a stream after as well. I was like, don't talk about football anymore. Oh no, it was the game Saturday. And then I had the stream on Sunday. One of the two, either way, I didn't enjoy it. Gakpo, yeah, the problem with Gakpo as well, though, is like, he's got 13 goals this season, man. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's got 13 goals. Like, what, what, what more do you want from a new signing who's not been like a, like a, 
I wouldn't say he's not been a starter because he's started because of injuries quite a lot. But like he's a new signer and first full season, thirteen goals isn't bad. And it's only March. But the problem was Gakpo like Gakpo is having the problem that other people have with with at Liverpool is Liverpool's front three is so good. Like Diaz, Nunes and Salah are so good. There's not a team in the world that can bring someone off the bench who's as good as him. Old Trafford, yeah, to be fair, that's the that's the best I've heard your fans for I would say like maybe even since the Fergie years. Definitely since the Mourinho years. Because I feel like Mourinho sometimes got him going. And you know, he, he sometimes played into the, the sort of I dunno, he sort of played into the crowd, which he does, which is something he's one of the reasons he's such a good manager. Like the best managers manage the crowd and I think that's why Eric Ten Hag can't cope at United, but I don't think he can be that custom lost again. Was it the best FA Cup game ever? It really could be. It had everything, didn't it? Um, I, when we were losing, I was hoping it'd go to pens. <laughs> like, I just, I just, there wasn't chances. Liverpool wouldn't have chances to win it really at the end. They did in normal time. Rabbit Man 39. Hello, Link. Happy birthday, mate. It's your daughter's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Rabbit Man's daughter. Rabbit Girl. Happy birthday. I hope she has a great birthday. Um, what have you got her? Like, don't, actually, no, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Like, does it sound fun? Oh, I'll tell you what, we've been destroying every game today. Should have done a watch along. Is that something people want to see? Because this is something I've discussed recently. Um, do people want me to do watch alongs for football? Because I was thinking about maybe doing some England ones. Because obviously, I don't care about the England ones as much as the Liverpool ones. But if I did like an England watch along, for example, for like, may, I might I might do like a test for the next friend, like maybe even Tuesday's friendly. Um, if I was to do a watch along, who would, who would watch it? Do you know what I mean? Like, would you guys want to watch? Actually, want to watch it? I know Blazers want to watch it if you're not in bet Liverpool, but would you want to watch the United Paul game in April? I'm nervous for that game, bro. I am scared. Well, I, th I think we'll beat you. If we beat you, I think we win the league. Blazing. Yeah, I don't really care about England. That's why I think about that might be good for the watch ones. Because I'm not as passionate about it. Like, part of me wants to enjoy the Liverpool games. Like I, I think I would, if the watch along was fun and there was a bunch of you watching it, it'd probably be just as fun as watching it anyway. So yeah, I mean, I, it's something I've been thinking about. But yeah, if anyone wants to see watch along, let me know in the comments because um, I just sort of gauge an interest, I suppose. Lazy support in Portugal in the Euro. Me too, bro. Diogo's yacht, isn't it? Is Diogo's yacht the obvious reason? I don't know myself far. I actually like Portugal. I'm, I'm, I'll put it out there. I have always had an affection for Portuguese football. Like, ever since Figo. Figo's a hero. Um, oh, I mean, picks the tournament. I, like, I just like Portugal, you know what I mean? Um, 
they had Figo, Figo and that and obviously I like Ronaldo I, I'm not many Liverpool fans will sit there and be like oh yeah I love Cristiano but I, I like I like how he plays the game I like how good he is I like his attitude he makes me laugh Like Cristiano might be my favourite actually no my favourite non Liverpool player is Maradona but apart from him it might be Cristiano it, actually no probably Roberto Carlos but after Roberto Carlos it probably is Ronaldo even though he played for United Risa like if you had to pick your favourite player that played for Liverpool players who would you pick don't say Michael Owen. Don't, don't, don't do me like that. If you if you had to pick your favourite player who played for Liverpool that didn't play for United, who would you choose? And if there's anyone else watching from like other clubs, um, you have to pick someone from your from the rivals. Who would you pick? Be a fun game. If Ethan's still in chat, Ethan's got to try to pick his favourite. United player. Not Everton, because no one cares about Everton, do they? They're just like insignificant. Stalo or Sadio, fair. That is fair. All right, that. Daddy owes some boy, isn't he? Look, so it's your favourite player that played for United. Because you, you can't pick a Liverpool one. You've got to pick one that played for United. To be fair, the other United player who I have some affection for is Eric Cantona. Just because he's such a not. Okay, do you know, do you know what, uh, man? I actually... Like, before I stream, I sometimes, like, think about things that I, I plan to talk about. And that New England shit uh, is, is one of the things that was, like, in my list of things. You know, I just, before I stream, I like to think about, oh, what's happened this week? What what do I want to talk to the guys about? You know, what do I want to talk to the legends about? And um, that, that England shit, because one thing I would say is, I... I get that pe I'm, The thing is, I don't care about how the flag looks, genuinely. I'm not the most patriotic person, right? Like, I'm the first to, to admit that. I'm not the most patriotic person. Um, I think it was just... It looks... I think it looks cool. That's the problem. I'm of the opinion it looks cool. And like I reviewed a knockoff version of that shirt. Oh yeah, no, Ethan, I'm with you. Harry Maguire, he's probably my favourite. The amount of goals he helps Liverpool get. But the problem with that England shirt, right, is like I think it looks nice. Like I like how the flag looks with the mixed colours. It's it's like an aesthetic thing. It's not supposed to... Like, people are saying, oh, they've tried to make it into a rainbow. Like, if they wanted to make it into a rainbow, they would have made it into a proper rainbow, wouldn't they? And to be fair, I wouldn't have been against the rainbow on the kit. You know what I mean? I'm for inclusivity. I wouldn't have bothered me if they chucked a rainbow on the kit. Honestly, some people would be upset about that. I wouldn't have cared. But my opinion on it is is it was I think it was stupid for mine to not like speak to like if they spoke to like England supporters groups and stuff I'm sure they would have realised okay this is controversial but also like sometimes controversy is used as a way to draw attention to stuff like I think so part of me thinks if Nike knew it was going to piss people off this much 
Knight would have done it anyway, just because of how many times people have said Knight. You know what I mean? I like, I tell you, one thing I did like as well, if, if anyone hasn't seen, Harvey Elliott, who's still not for some reason in the England squad, even though Kobe Mania is after playing about 14 minutes for Man United one day. Um, I'm not better. I'm not. <laughs> but Harvey Elliott plays for under 21s, and he put the collar up so you couldn't see the flag. I really like that. I really, really like that. Um, but yeah, what does everyone else think about the England shirt? I did a poll on my Twitter, and everyone either hated it or didn't care. No one else liked it. Like, I liked it. I'm pretty sure that was the result of the poll. Let's see if I can bring it up. So yeah, like, this was my Twitter poll. Not conclusive, obviously, but 40% said, hate it, change it. 60% said, not asked. No one said, I like it, keep it. That was That's what I would have voted, personally. Um, so, yeah. I, I just, I think it's a, it was a weird call. Um, but I did I like Beckham. Yeah, I did, I did like David Beckham, to be fair. Especially like Real Madrid, David Beckham. Like, the thing is, he left United when I was so young. And then when he left United, I actually liked him more. Do you know what I mean? Like, David Beckham going to United, I was like, nice. Um, the thing is, well, I guess Ethan wouldn't care about the English shirt because he's Welsh. What would you do if they changed the dragon? Ethan. Um, I thought Bamproof was doing it, man. I linked the account so he could. Um, he hasn't mentioned it though. I've spoken to him about other stuff as well. You check with him. Looks like the game's going so all right, mate. Yeah, check check with him. What would you do, Jay, as well? As, a, as an American, if someone changed the colours of the United States flag, would it offend you if they did it on the on the United States football shirt? I feel like I need to go get the shirt so we can... Do you know what I mean? We are Americans, you don't fuck with our flag, people know about. Marilyn Manson did, though. I actually have that Marilyn Manson shirt. Have you seen that Marilyn Manson shirt? He did it in, like, black and white, and he changed the, like, fucking stars for, like, satanic crosses or something. But, yeah, it's, um... Evening, Mr. Stard. How are you? And also, we've been before you got here. We've been debating the new um, England shirt. What do you think, bro? Are you upset? Are you happy? Do you care? What do you think? So, so Jack's a Ipswich fan from England. Be interested to see what he thinks. But obviously. My Twitter and stuff has got a lot of Liverpool fans, so that's why there's a lot of people not asked. And like a lot of people that watch the channel are Liverpool fans, so they're not asked. But yeah, I think it looks cool, but I, I just feel like you can't... I don't know, I just don't think it's smart to change it. But I don't know. Like, I wouldn't have changed it, but I also feel like there's more important problems in the world than the colour of 
Croft finished up. So, it's definitely an interesting and hot topic. Jack doesn't care. There we go. I just think it looks cool. To mute my WhatsApp. Now, what's if you keep hearing a weird thing, guys? My WhatsApp's joining my computer. You couldn't get Middlesbrough tickets. Oh, it says so. Jack is it? It's fans. Oh, he's saying they sold out. He couldn't get them. Where the three lines on? That's the main thing. Yeah, and I like the shirt overall. You know what I mean? I don't know how I mute it. I probably can't get me well. What about like restrictive view and stuff? Is there even any of that? Completely sold out, crazy. Um, I don't know how expensive it is, but they do sometimes do hospitality tickets. Is there any even like hospitality? It's crazy how much people want to go to their games, isn't it? Hospitality sold out. No way. I don't think I've ever known if it's hospitality sell out apart from Norwich. Apart from like if they get a Premier League team in the FA Cup or something. You know what I mean? Then people just buy it because they want to go watch like Arsenal. Not anything else. I'm just messing about because I've won this game and it's not competitive. Oh, it's crazy, it's sold though. Mad how popular it is, really. We'll do a Muppet Man. I don't know if you're a Muppets fan, but they do this thing where they all sit on each other in a coat, so they look like a human. We'll do that, Jack. Is it on TV at least? I don't remember. What's a Muppet Man, if you ask me? Or what's hospitality? Hospitality is where you get, like, 
A meal included in your ticket? Oh, I thought I scored. He's what on TV? Oh, I meant the Ipswich game. The Borough one. Oh, is it free kickoff? Well, that's silly. Have you, have you tried pretending you're a Borough fan? Not that I advocate people sitting in the away fans, but... That does suck, man. There's always hope that there's sometimes tickets come available near the time and stuff. Right. Like I have friends who sometimes can't go and stuff, so I'll keep an ear out. I thought it was being that bad, have we? Good off side chat from me, though. Give me confidence going to the next game, you know what I mean? You know, like when you lose 3 0 and then you score, and everyone's like, oh yeah, that goal will give them confidence for the next game at least. That's what that off side chat is going to do for me. Mo's injured. Yeah, Mo's injured. Yeah, Mo's injured. Mo's injured. Mo's injured. Mo's injured. Mo's I didn't work out very well, did it? Oh, 
I love this Stevie G card. It's like a young Stevie G with like legs still. Ah, uh, you don't think the borough tickets have sold out yet? I'm now on the borough website, just have a look. He's trying to sell me a borough season ticket, that's not something I want. Hull City... Yeah, Liverpool... Not Liverpool, sorry. Ipswich borough tickets aren't on sale yet, are they? So there might be... If they don't sell that bottom bit, there could be some more. Also the top as well. If they don't sell the whole top out, there might be some more come up. So um, I'll keep it here out, Jay. And thank you, Jack. You know? If anyone is watching this stream back, and they have a spare movable ticket to sat there. Let me know. Yeah, so Ipswich Town has like tried to ban resale tickets. Because if you're not really supposed to do it in the UK. Like, because there's like weird rules about like football plans and stuff like that like shouldn't be going to different stadiums or whatever and like some people get banned from attending football because they've like run on the pitch or you know set up a bloody firework or whatever Did you go in the season ticket side as well, Jack? But Shame, huh? Let's search again. Jack's always on the check. Is it just Barry you need a ticket for now, Jack? I think it's real compared to you guys, don't we? Like, I wish we did tickets like you guys did there because I'd be able to go watch Liverpool a lot easier. Yeah. It's, they try and like reward the most loyal fans, basically. Like, the people that have been... Like, the people that have been going for years, they try and like reward those people in the UK, you know what I mean? Like the loyal supporters or whatever. But like, I think in America, it's a lot more common to go and watch a game with someone you don't support. Do you know what I mean? Like people go watch like an NFL game, even if they don't support the team, just because it's like a day out, it's like an event. Do you know what I mean? It's like something to do. But oh, what do I do Saturday? Let's go watch baseball. 
But yeah, the I'm getting hammered here. He's got Torres as well. Honestly, seeing Fernando Torres yesterday was special. God. Not amazing about seeing Fernando Torres play football. Like it was like a lifelong dream. And to see him score at the top end, man. I most support the team they go see. I think it's different in America as well though, because you have like more teams. Do you know what I mean? Like in Chicago you have like the Bulls, the Bears, the Blackhawks. And someone might support all of them but be really into one. Do you know what I mean? Because there's more, way more sports that people actually watch, isn't it? Yeah, you have bigger stadiums, man. Like, they want to expand Portland Road to only holds 30,000. Which, in my opinion, would be a good move. See, the, prob the problem is, Jay, so before we got bought by this, like, American group, attendances were, like, 12, 13,000. So they had like 10,000, 15,000 seats, like spare, like every week. Part of the problem with English football tickets as well is like how popular it is for like tourism. Like obviously, if you come to England, you want to watch a football game. Like, I guess like Jay does, do you know what I mean? But like at Anfield, there's so many people just want to go watch Liverpool. That they'll pay whatever it costs. So they sell these hospitality packages. Yeah, so an American group bought Ipswich. It was like an American public investment fund that deals with like retired firefighters and stuff. Like there was a... I think it was a police officer who like was in a, who was all like burned. I can't think of this guy's name now. Um, he got like horrifically burned basically in like a car accident. He is like involved with the owners and his his slogan is running through adversity, which is now Ipswich's little slogan. I think I'm going to cross it rather than shoot. Oh, I'll tell you what, if Gerald glanced that. But once the American group took over, right, Ipswich bought some new players with the money and stuff, and then they're actually playing well now. And actually, the club is like well run now. Our old owner didn't run it that well. I can't, I can't think of, of what the guy is called with the burn. You know him, Jay. He's like a big celebrity in America. Um, he's done loads of lot like, talk shows. And he's got a, he's got like, a best selling book. Jason Shechter. That's the one. The Jack knows. Jack's Jack's got his ear to the ground. But yeah, that's why it says running towards adversity on the inside of the town shirts now because that's like his saying that the club has like adopted also if your town got 105 million pounds of American investment this week again so that's going to go to build like different things like training grounds and stuff And again, Ipswich did post a big loss this week, like 18 million or 19 million. Which is a lot of money to lose in a year if you're a small club like Ipswich. 
I don't mean small clubbing like some offensive sort of manner. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's a small town. And it's not a Premier League club. Oh, there's another thousand seats for the Black Run Rovers away game? Nice. Part of me was, was like wanting to go to that one because it's near that Crack and Coals fish shop I went to. That's in Black Run. So I was like, hmm, we'll go to Black Run. Well, I didn't in the end, obviously. Oh, you never heard of that guy? He was a kind. He was a. He's basically a cop, and he, you know, if you want to know his story, guys, Google him because they'll tell you the story better than I can. Um, I do want to get his book. I've been meaning to get his book for ages. It's in my Amazon wish list. Does anyone else do this? Right? You have a look at Amazon wish list of like things you you want to buy, and then you never actually like buy the stuff that isn't in the top. Four or five things. I also haven't updated the Amazon wish list for you guys to see. Like, I know sometimes you guys like to send me presents. So there's an Amazon wish list where you can order and post it straight to me. Um, I haven't update, updated that since around Christmas or anything. But yeah, I, I want to get his book. I think it'd be interesting. To read through his story and stuff. He just seems like a quality bloke. Really does. But he gets such a good ovation on Portland Road. Everything, like he visits a couple of times a season, and you know they get him on the big screen and they talk to him, and everyone gives him a little applause, and it's just really nice. Not as good an applause as Van Gogh and Ericsson that I had for yesterday. That was special. Honestly, God. Because it's at 3 o'clock, it's not on TV, Jay. So you won't be able to watch it. Because if it games at 3 o'clock, you can't watch them in the UK. Maybe. I don't know if the app knows you're in England though, or if you have to VPN it, or, you know. I don't think you're supposed to VPN it, but. The worst thing as well is on the Saturday, I wanted to take you to the fan zone. So you could have like that experience because it's not really good like for the midweek games, the fan zone. Like the fan zone is more like a Saturday thing. There's still hope, Jay. Mo nutmegs the goalkeeper. Absolute baller. Remember to smash the like button if you're watching this. If you don't want me to concede from this attack, smash the like button right now. We've got the ball now, but if you don't want me to concede during this game, smash the like button. Go in. I feel like Darwin deserves a better song than just... I do like the Nunes, 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 but I feel like he deserves more. Like, when I was at Anfield yesterday, we started singing the Torres bounce. You know, like his arm, but proved he was a red Torres, Torres. You know, you know that one, you all know. 
was such a good, honestly, like the Nike advert with that song on as well, with like the little, like, guitar. If you don't remember that Nike advert, it was so good. But it's like the song is in Spanish as well. Most Americans you speak to have no clue if it even exists. I'm not surprised, bro. They all watch Premier League, but if it weren't, weren't in the Premier League, well, they were in the Premier League like 20 over 20 years ago. So, but I don't think 20 years ago the Premier League was popular in America at all. Like, I think it's like a much newer developed like soccer in America even even since Messi joined it's gone up another level over here I don't obviously know because I'm not there there's um Ipswich have a have a little basketball team and um one of the girls from the basketball team is going to I can't remember it's my friend's daughter they're going to some university in America to play college basketball. They've got a scholarship. But we don't, basketball's not really a thing here. Like it should be, but it isn't. It's weird, you, you see more basketball courts than you ever see people playing on them. You know what I mean? Oh, that's what he does. Unlucky Mo. I'm like, that's what he does, but he just hit the bar. Sky Darwin. No, he wasn't. Squandered that. Risa flicks it up. McAllister. The Salah back to McAllister. Oh, yeah. But yeah, basketball over here, bro, is just not, it's not big. I like basketball. Basketball is the reason I always support the Chicago teams and everything. <laughs> like, like, Michael Jordan just made me support Chicago everything. I don't, I don't watch that much American sport now. I don't, watch, I don't even watch much NFL at the moment. Jackie like more ice hockey. Ice hockey's cool, isn't it? When I, when I lived in the North East, we were near um, South Shields, whoever, is it South, no, not South Shields, is it North Shields? One of them has an ho ice hockey ring, which is pretty cool. Well, it might be time now, actually. One of the seaside places had an ice hockey ring and like a team and stuff, which was cool. Ice hockey's fun to watch as well. Like NFL for me is a bit, little bit. I like NFL. I like the XFL as well. If anyone's watched that, it's like Vince McMahon. You know, like he who must not be named. He might as well be called nowadays. Started this like crazy football league with like more interesting rules basically. But it's now like run by like Dwayne Johnson and some other billionaire. Link on skates, bro. I can skate. I I'm like a ballerina, man. Maybe I'll have to go to Winter Wonderland one day, even though it's not really my thing. Just to go skating and show you show you my um my moves. Did you know my nickname was Link Torval and Dean Gooding? Mm -hmm. Look at my ice skating knowledge, you know who Torval and Dean are. What a legend I am. Anyone that doesn't know who Torval and Dean are, they won like a gold medal at the Olympics. Skating for the United Kingdom. With Great Britain. Oh, what a challenge that was. 
£221 for a resale ticket. And I'm not even surprised, bro. I'm not even surprised. I'll get the 2 2 out, you know. No one knows what I can get a 2 2 in a 3 XL, I think not. But yeah, Torval and Dean skated to the. Is it the Bolero or just Bolero? I know they say they skated the Bolero, but they is the piece of music just called Bolero or is it called the Bolero? I don't know, but it's a great bit of music, to be fair. It's that Femington song. I think it's that bit of music. I might be completely mistaken which one it is, but yeah. Ice skating knowledge. See, I'm, I'm, I surprise myself with my, my brain sometimes. But if you need to know anything useful, I'm not your guy. But if you want pointless information like that, I'm in that. Nunez! Oh, that was so dull with Nunez, wasn't it? To go around the key bar. You need to get his nose neck curtain, that'll make me one. I'm in. You're gonna have to, like, die, though. Like, put it in the washing machine with some red socks or something. To get that, get that pink effect, you know? Unless your nan's got pink neck curtains, but if she has, that's gangster. And you should just put them up instead. Why are neck curtains always white? Like, I get they're supposed to let the light in, but wouldn't it be cool if they did like coloured neck curtains? I guess they're curtains, aren't they? At that point. Honestly, I'm I'm in the minority here for people my age, but I actually like a set of neck curtains. Honestly, I'm I'm a neck curtain enjoyer. Like, they're just so practical. Like, you don't want people to see him. But you want the light to come in. So, instead of putting curtains up, you put a neck curtain. You still have curtains as well if you want them. Of course you can. Oh, great, great defensive power to converge. This is going to make extra time, I think. And tight. Mo said no it isn't and they laughed at him and said yes it is right Bobby Clark can come off Sterling on the right Torres Balotelli John Barnes and then I'll bring Seb Coates on for Van Dyke which hurts me but I need the legs. Can Fernando Torres do what he did yesterday and score? So happy to see that. Marisa, can I scores? There we go. You bring on four new forwards. And it's your centre half scores. Is that ironic? Don't know. Mario Magnifico! Mario Fantastico! Ole, ole! Balote. I'm trying to get the ball back to Balotelli. I should have just scored with Torres. Oh dear. If we lose now, I'll be furious. Oh, oh, oh. That's what happens when you show work, kids. Hockey's the extra player, isn't it? You know, you remember that. Dudek. I mean, Allison. 
Whenever I have Duda from goal, I keep saying Allison. Whenever I have Allison from goal, I keep saying Duda. One of these days, would you kill it right? No. Imagine losing this game after going in front. That's ridiculous. No way. Try to get Sterling down the wing. We need to press up and win the ball now. Like, nah, oh no. That's it, gone, I think. There's only one minute added on as well. Is Ipswich Museum still under construction? Do you know what, bro? I think it could be, actually. Um. You know, they took my email address to contact me about when it opened, and they've never actually emailed me, ever. So I assume it hasn't opened, or they just didn't want me to come and have a look. <laughs> um, Jack might know as a Ipswich enjoyer. Is Ipswich Museum open again? I guess you could Google it, Jay. If you Google it, man, let me know what it says. Probably the second one. Jay. Oh, he's going to go for the third one, which is they've lost my email address. That's what he does. That's what Mo Salah does. But yeah, I haven't heard about it opening. Like, I haven't seen like, anyone post that they've been there recently either. Reopen Memorial Day weekend. Is that what it says on the uh, an English website? An English website says Memorial Day weekend instead of Remembrance Sunday. The world's gone mad. The world has gone mad. Oh no. That's an embarrassment, isn't it? Oh, 2025? Man, they must be building something special. I'll, I'll find a British museum for you to go to around near me, Jay. I'm sure we'll go to one. Oh, Jay was on the Ipswich US one. You got the correct one now, right. I was gonna say, bro, Memorial Day weekend, straight away, just got me like, what do you mean Memorial Day? Well, we don't call it that. But then I wasn't sure if it was maybe like Ipswich was like tourist board, trying to like, make it like, is it a friendly or something? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he'll slowly turn me into American. Bro, the problem is, I don't think I could keep up with the guns anymore. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not gun literate enough to be American. I don't know if that's something to be ashamed or proud of. I don't know. Well, 
Oh, no. I do love that. No way he's really managed to turn in there. <laughs> yeah, you know that. I don't relax, bro. I like to chill. <laughs> oh, some size. Okay, great scene. The best thing about being American would be 7 Eleven. And I, I, I bet it's not even good. It's just like, I've, it's one of these things, like, you know, sometimes in your head, you like build up an idea. I feel like I've built up 7 Eleven to be this, like, Magical place, and it just won't be. Well, you know, saying never meet your heroes, never meet your dream stores. Unless your dream store is the Lego store, and you've got a chance to go to the Oxford Street store, then it will exceed your expectations. Unless you've watched my vlog when I went there, then you'll know exactly what expectations you should have. I was outrunning Cordoba. Stevie, the, the face of composure, Steven Gerrard. As Fernando Torres called him, the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Right, Hart, please don't try to copyright strike me. I was quoting Fernando Torres, not you. Good old Bret Hart. I wonder what he's up to nowadays. I was going to say they should do a Bret Hart cameo in South Park, but they'd have to give him a flappy head to be Canadian. I don't want to see Bret Hart like that. Did they make Ike like that? They didn't, did they? In the rest of the episodes, why didn't they make Ike from the Bret Hart? South Park should hire me to write their episodes now. Sorry, Matt and Trey, it's time. I tell you yesterday, the Liverpool Legends game, a like 38 year old Dirk Cow attempted an overhead kick. It's so funny. He made in contact with the ball, but it was like feeble. Really good laugh. Come on, boys. Gotta win now. There goes Stella. I must be a bully. Pass on. Ramos, don't you dare in just Salo again. You've already crushed my dreams once in my life doing that. I think I've seen this film before, but I didn't like the ending. The 
the worst thing as well. When he went off in that Champions League final, you just kind of knew. Well, any Liverpool fans watching that, you just once Salah went off, you just I don't know, you just kind of felt it in the air, didn't you? Bobby Clark, come on, win those Verge. No. Great from Van Dijk, not Van Dijk, from Hattie, sorry. I'd like another goal just to give me some, like a little bit of wiggle room, especially as he's got Haaland, because that boy no miss. Give away pen. He's running away from goal. We'll see if they score first, then we'll make the changes. Harlem looks like he's going bottom right. Oh, he's in the middle. What a. Oh. What a lovely person. They are. Both my centre halves are booked. That's never really where you want to be, is it? Especially in a game with potential extra time as well. Not want to be playing an additional 30 minutes, missing some players. Should have shot. I should have shot. It opened up for a shot, and I decided to go. No, no, I don't want a shot. What was the town I want to go to? Um, we're talking about going to Skegness, which is like a seaside town near us, and then Lincoln is the biggest city near me, so we were going to go there as well, probably. Just so you can see some different kind of places. Oh, can I bring it down? If we should play. Skegness is S K E G N E double S, but like, um, like Skeg, like Link says. Yeah, and the elder when he becomes an adult, an ocarina of time. Instead of just, huh, yeah, ah, he goes Skeg. I've got through my monster energies, guys. Add that on the graveyard pile of monster energy cans. The 
but I'm not as bad. So they bet they have Cristiano. They don't even have Cristiano. Why have our Nassas bad if you're not going to put Cristiano up front? It's a hell of a team, man. It looks cool. Yeah, I've not been there for a long time as well, man. Um, Amy and I have been meaning to go there since we moved off here. We just haven't got around to it yet. Fish, chips and sandy beaches. We're walking around in America. In the UK. There's also a statue of some famous comedian there, I believe. I don't know if he's like world famous or England famous. What's <laughs> my Ian Boozer video? Are you laughing? Oh, the beard dye video? I actually, honestly, I was thinking about doing it again the other day. Not a video, but. I was thinking, oh, I've got a little ginger bits in my beard. If I just dye it, I might be able to fill it up a bit. So I have got the patchiest beard ever. Although, supposedly, I've heard this. Don't know if it's true. Um, apparently, the type of testosterone that makes your beard grow strong is called DHT. Sounds like I'm talking about like cannabis now. With all these weird like letter things. It's called DHT. Apparently that's the same one that makes you go bald. The one that gives you a good beard. So I don't have a good beard. But I'm not going bald. I can live with that. Oh Darwin. Hey up. New to the channel. Hello Jamie. Your logo is. Your logo. Your like image. Profile photo is very small, but is that a Sheffield United badge I see? Welcome to the stream, man. Sheffield United fan, nice. I guess the only question I ask you is, are you gonna stay up? Are you actually have you actually heard that? Don't tell me you tried that, Jack. Don't tell me, you're going to tell me that that's why your beard is so lustrous now, aren't you? He's on the minoxidil train. I thought you dope him a bit. But yeah, a chef who can stay up. And I'm in the league. <laughs> Love it. Love it. That's the spirit. You mean next season? <laughs> There's quite a few people watch this channel from Sheffield. I don't know why. Like, I guess it's just Sheffield loves football. It's like one of the proper like football places, isn't it? Like. You don't like VAR? I don't like VAR either. As a Liverpool fan, I absolutely agree with you. Let's get rid of VAR. It's just, the, the problem is, it's just so bad. Like, if it was good, every, no one would care, but it's so bad. Jack's not sure I don't to do. Some of my old videos are classics. Like there's one where it's like called like Link. Link gets a, like a letter from Satan or something. That's the funniest video I've made. Still, I still maintain it was one of the first things I ever did, and it's, I still maintain that it's the funniest thing. It was hyping up the. It was like a little teaser that I was going to do eating the world's hottest chili video. Oldest football ground in the world. I don't know that. That's some good trivia, that. But is, is that. Is Chef. 
you say Sheffield FC, is that what used to be Sheffield United? Like the ground? Because United are older than Wednesday, aren't they? Look it up, that's probably the best thing we will do, to be honest, mate. Thought we were going to hit the goal there. Now this one, we're just going to hit it the shadow. Touch, bang. Ah, uh, that rotten, that rotten, I'm not even joking, right? I swear it down. I ate, ate this Harry Potter jelly bean, guys, right? It's like 30 bots, every flavour of beans. Honestly, I ate this one, it's rotten egg. Oh, no. Oh, it's a football team that's still going now. So, well, are they the first, like, football club then? Yeah, he's jumping off. See you soon, man. You take care, bro. Cheers for hanging out, man. Like I said, Jay's coming to visit me in the UK soon, so there'll be there'll be some some vlogs with Jay in again. That's quite interesting, that, isn't it? So how, how did United and Wednesday come about? Is there, like, a story about it, or were they just teams? And because Sheffield's a big place, they're both good teams. Because I know sometimes with the United teams, like Manchester United, is something to do with several teams in Manchester joining together or something, I think. I might be clutching at straws there. Another goal just to put a bit of distance. Oh, it's still City, so it's yeah. Yeah, that's why you're the blades, isn't it? That's why you got the the little cutlasses. Is it a cutlass? Is that the correct, correct type of sword for what is on Sheffield's badge? It is a cutlass, isn't it? Yeah, it's right through the blade. I do, I feel like, I feel like Sheffield is somewhere I need to go sometime. Like, I was saying this to a Wednesday fan, but like, maybe a month ago? Because I don't think I've ever actually been to Sheffield. I think I've been like past it. But I don't think I've ever actually been specifically to Sheffield. I'll be interested to just go check it out. I like going to new places. Is there anything good to do in Sheffield you recommend apart from go watch Wednesday? I mean, United. God, I can't say that to a United fan. We'll go watch Wednesday lose, is what I mean, against Ipswich. Oh, it's a good night out. Nice. To be fair, I think that's one of the reasons why it's popular is in a way, though. Um, I know some of my mates go there for the Ipswich away games fairly frequently because it's a good night out. The craziest story about, about that that I've got, right, is... It's not my story to tell, really, but, you know, I'm going to tell it. 
my my mum's friend. So we'll, we'll leave the person like anonymous. My mum's friend. Their kid went to Ipswich versus MK Dons, right? They went to Milton Keynes Dons versus Ipswich in Milton Keynes. And um, met, a, met a woman on a night out, had a one night stand. She got pregnant. And they're still together now, living together, happy. I think they're still together now. It was still together last time I knew it. I might have just really upset someone, you know what I mean? <laughs> if they might not be watching, you know. If you are watching, hi. But, um, yeah, they, they met someone a night out, and there's a human life born from that, that night out. Like, it's a weird concept, isn't it? Right. <laughs> Study studies brought up the elephant in the room. I feel I say the rat in the room. My mate Brandon Williams, who I famously moan about every week, right? And everyone's always like, Oh, don't be so hard on them, it's just because you're a Liverpool fan. You don't like him for the United. He's in court for driving at seventy four mile an hour. In what? Uh, is it a thirty? Is it a thirty? I might be making that up. Is that what he did? Seventy-four and a thirty, and he had a crash at seventy-four mile an hour as well. And um, he'd been on the old laughing gas canisters apparently, so he can't play for Ipswich this season now. I don't think. I think that's over. He's been banned from driving, rightly so. I don't think he hurt anyone, thankfully. Oh, you don't have McDonald's in town? That's crazy. You know, like, like... I think the, the funniest, like, McDonald's after a night out store I have is we'd had, like, a house party at my house. And, um, not like a, not like a, like, under-15s house party, you know what I mean? Like when you're at school and your parents go on holidays, not one of them, but, like, like an actual party station at my house. And, um, we, we were drunk. And um, so we couldn't drive to McDonald's. But it was about 20 minutes walk away. So me, my brother, my dad and his friend um, decided to walk to McDonald's to get McDonald's. And we got there. And the woman turns around to us and said, Sorry, but I... It's drive through only now, there's no it's not available, you can't have takeaway. I was like, what? Like and it was open as well, like the door was open, it wasn't locked. The door wasn't open, she was like, no, sorry we're closed, you have to go through the drive through. I was like, we walked it. I walked it, I can't I can't go to the drive through. She's like, no, I'm sorry, you have to go to the drive through or something like So because we were drunk, we thought it would be funny. To get into formation and pretend we're in a bloody car, didn't we? So we literally walk round the drive through, my dad in the front making engine noises and steering the wheel and that. <laughs> we do we walk round the drive through and they served us and we got our McDonald's and we sat on the outdoor tables and had it. So if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. What do I normally get in foot chaps? Not much, mate. Well, if I get five wins, I'll be happy. I'm not very good. I don't really play it competitively. Now, I'm not one of these YouTubers that gets like 50 million FIFA points. 
But if you're new here, subscribe because we have a laugh. To Bab after the jump on the home. Bab. I tell you what, I had the best kebab ever this weekend. There's a restaurant in Liverpool called Dooman, which is like a like a Turkish barbecue restaurant. Jamie's already subbed to me, love that. Um, it's like a Turkish restaurant, right? And they do like they do like barbecue like kebab meats, and they do like a big share of platter. There'll be a picture of it on my Instagram, I'm sure, in the next few days. Once I saw through the photos, I took this weekend. But honestly, this restaurant, I was like, they literally got like a proper like barbecue grill indoors with like like chimneys that come out of the roof of the restaurant. It's called Dooman in Liverpool, D U M A N. I might be Dumar. I never ever considered it to be called Dumar. It honestly is incredible, I'll tell you what. Special place to eat that chicken kebab. Yeah, chicken kebab is better. I like kofta though, I do, I'm a, I'm a kofta connoisseur. But then as well, when lamb's good, not not lamb donna so much. I, I still eat lamb donna, don't get me wrong. I'm not like above it or anything. But when like lamb cheese is good, it's good. So, never been to Liverpool, you'd love to walk around looking at Liverpool's ground. Do you know what, the other thing as well, is it's, it's literally less than 10 minutes walk to Everton's ground as well. So you can go and see like two massive grounds. Like if you drive to Anfield, you'll probably drive past Goodison and vice versa. Like. Like when I left Anfield, I went to Anfield yesterday and um, went to watch the Legends game. There's a lot of vlog on my channel. Check it out if you haven't already after the stream. Obviously, don't, don't go now. I like company. But, um. Yeah, like if you, if you, if you ever go, you can go to both. Um, if you like music, there's so, many, so much like good music stuff there. And obviously, the Beatles are from there. So you've got like crazy music stuff and like Beatles statues and you can go see Penny Lane and the Strawberry Fields and the people honestly like I swear you just I just like Scousers. I just do they're just quality. Very like homely. Do you know what I mean? You know like Stiller Black and like Paul O'Grady. I don't even know if Paul, yeah, Paul O'Grady is from North, I'm sure he is. Like, they all just remind me of like, like Paul O'Grady presenting that dog program. And they're just like, I don't know, they're just like, homely. But yeah, I, re I recommend it. If you haven't been, it's, it's my favourite place, by and Ah, uh, you wouldn't know when you were a little kid, but you can't remember that much. The thing is as well, it's like Liverpool of, you know, you probably wouldn't want to buy anything in, in a Liverpool shop, obviously, being a Sheffield fan. But, um, you can go for like a tour of the stadium and stuff, and there's loads of people do the tour who aren't Liverpool fans as well. So you can go and see like all the trophies and stuff, like the European Cups, Premier League, you know, the FA Cup, the Carlin Cup, the Carabao Cup. World Cup, like this, just the, the stadium tour. Obviously, I'm a Liverpool fan, so I'm gonna be biased, but like, just as a football fan, you'd enjoy it, I think. And they do, um, like, they have like an away dressing room for the oh, your nan and granddad are from Liverpool, moved to Sheffield, but yeah, it, they have this, like away dressing room set up with like um shirts of people that have played against Liverpool. There's like a Ronaldinho shirt and like a Kaka shirt and like Maldini and stuff. 
Messi, Ronaldo, so you can have look your picture taken with like their dressing room shirt as well. You don't have to have one with Salah. But well, you'll probably get one. If you go. Oh, free win. Yay, love that. Thank you. It's an Arsenal fan as well. Oh your granddad was an Everton fan. To be fair, I quite like. I haven't met many Everton fans I don't like. They're just a solid sort of fan base, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? Especially nowadays. No one's supporting Everton now for the glory, are they? The best one is like United fans my age because they all supported United because they were the best and they're absolutely shit now. Your foxes are lining up as follows. So it's like Number one. they chose the best team because that's what they wanted and now they're rubbish. Same for Chelsea fans my age as well. Uh, yeah, Everton was huge in the 70s, 80s. And like before that, like back in the day as well, they're like one of the original founders of the Football League, isn't they? You think Liverpool is, what, over 130 years old? Everton's older. That's mental, isn't it? When you think about it. Tried a little reverse pass from Stevie there, that would have been so good. John Arnold's got Corey Visto in his crosshairs. Oh, I couldn't get it over the keeper to get to the back stick. I blasted it over. Stevens let me down. It's like Wednesday they're holding you. Were, you. were you formed because you stole their ground like Liverpool or not? Well Liverpool didn't steal the ground. The owner was like, I've got a ground and no football team, let's have a foot let's have make a football team. <laughs> Never shout out, love that. That's give us a little bit, of, little bit of breathing room, just a little, just a dribble. Ibu just is a fake header. Dallas got McAllister with him. He will go to the byline and stop the ball. Oh, you played at Wednesday ground. So you had the blade ground in 89. But yeah, they are both like proper clubs, isn't they? United and Wednesday. I like United more, though, don't worry. Because. Wednesday have had a lot of little run-ins of it with town fans the last sort of two seasons because of the whole promotion chase last year. Wednesday were like so confident they were going to finish above Ipswich and then they got a bit butt hurt about Ipswich finishing above them. Uh, do you know the, like, the worst thing I find about Sheffield Wednesday fans is how much they talk about fucking Barry Bannon. <laughs> he's a baller. Don't get me wrong. I admit that. He's good. He's actually a good player. But Wednesday fans, that's all they talk about. Oh, we got Barry Bannon. 
I've never spoke to a Wednesday fan who didn't mention him. Genuinely. Was it seven years since you had the last Steel City? I guess, yeah, because I guess you've been bobbing around the Premier League and they went down the League One, didn't they? It's horrible. Now. Like Liverpool, obviously, have never experienced it, but because I have an Ipswich season ticket, um, I've, I've been there with Ipswich, you know what I mean? We don't have that derby with Norwich for years. And even like if Ipswich go up and Norwich don't, there won't be one again next year. Like, I love the derby. I don't like losing the derby, but I love the derby. There's something, do you know what I mean? There's just something about it. Touch of Phil. To take it on the volley as a power shot as well. That was audacious. Who won the last Steel City Derby? Because there's, there's a thing at Ipswich where they haven't won one for like 14 years. But, you know, they haven't played in most of those years. But nice fans are like, have not been there for 14 years. It's not the first time Reese has had a battle with Cafu. <laughs> Tried to find Salah at the back. Do you know what? My crosses to the back stick were an awful day. Blades fall two away, then the other lane. Nice. That's that good, wasn't it? That's all right over a season, isn't it? 4-2 and 0-0. Four points out of six, they get one. That's all right. But this game's a lot closer than some of them have been. Really like... Decent these people I'm playing against today. I don't know if it's because I haven't played FIFA for a couple of days because I'm in Liverpool, so I've just been like, I don't know, not, like, not, not warmed up, I guess. Not match fit, some might say. Why Shallow hitting that with a header rather than letting it drop? Like, you let that drop. That's a, such a good run from Kaka from D. But Allison, I was going to say do that because I normally do that, but we've got a new keeper now. Uh, what's my team? 4 4 2. Nice. No, 4 3 3 with one sitting. Um, got Bobby Clark holding the field because he just comes out outrageously good card. Seems quite good now because we packed them back out, not on stream. Because I don't always stream when I play, but I packed them back out the other day. Shit, Sunday. Oh no. I've been with the Zeus, so it's not been so bad for me. But I hate international breaks. That's why this March international break, I often go to Liverpool and watch the Legends game. And go to like, yeah, I'm on PlayStation. Um, like this March. International breaks, Paul. So yeah, I often go watch the Legends game at Liverpool, and then spend the weekend in Liverpool. So it's like not like a dead weekend sat at home, like watching like any football I can get my hands on. Like international breaks is rubbish, isn't it? The thing is, well, I'm like I was saying earlier in the stream, I'm not. I'm the same. I'm not the most patriotic for people, do you know what I mean? Like, look, I'd like England to win the Euros. 
But I would equally enjoy watching Diego Jota win at Portugal. Like, I'm not, like, precious about it. That's probably a penalty. I've kicked his leg. He's put his leg in between me and the ball, so I can't get that. That's a foul. Awful referee decision, mate. Fuck it, look at that challenge. He literally lifted me in the air. Yeah, like I, I missed the evening game the other night and went out for dinner. I was in, I was in Liverpool, so it wasn't like at home. But like if I was at home, I probably would have watched it if I was sat at home when it was on. But um, I agree. This wrestling, I <laughs> feel like we've been hard done by. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not the, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of international football. Although, like I say that, when the Euro starts, I'll be sat watching every game, whatever time it is. You know what I mean? Like, once it's like... I went and stuff at the World Cup and you sit there watching, like, Togo versus Qatar, don't you? Yeah, you went pub Saturday, so you watch it on telly. That's yeah, that's the other thing. Like it's on everywhere, isn't it? The England games. Like you can't get away from it. Like we we stayed in the hotel um, in Liverpool, and I just kind of like looked at the telly when we got back at like nine at night. We went and had like a drink at the bar, and um, I looked at the telly and I was like, "Is that Channel Four? What a random." Thing to be watching at the bar. Do you know what I mean? Like, why have they got Channel 4? And then I realised England had been on Channel 4 earlier in the night. Yeah, they were just left Channel 4 on. But there's nothing else on, really. So it's just like, why is Channel 4 on? All the Euro games are at night, are they? Where even is the Euros? Does anyone know? Like, where is the Euros? Honestly, you ain't got a clue. That shows my lack of interest in international football that I don't know where the Euros is. Is it France? I think it's France. If anyone in chat knows, help me out. Oh, it's got to be France. I don't know why, that's just what's in my head. They've not had it since 1998. Bremen? Is it German? An autocrat with German. We've equalised. Darwin Nunez does his job. I had to foul him there. I had no choice but to try and run that down. Salah goes. Couldn't quite get through, could he? I'm just going to try and place one. <laughs> His name is Diogo. It's 5 4. Ultra defensive. Five men, five men back. Waste time. Take them out. Smash it away. Get 
get yourself to that corner. See, we. We won though, that do. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Thought I'd throw it away. No one's talking about Germany for the Euros, are they? I guess they've been in bad form for a while, but if they're hosting it, does that give them enough of a an edge? Do you know what I mean? Did I like the Blue Lucas egg? Mm, I did. But like... If you like Gatorade, just have Gatorade. It's better. Um, like, I think people who like Lucas... Like, people who like Lucas egg will like it. I've always preferred like Gatorade and Powerade. And if I want like an actual energy drink, I always have Monster. Most of the time, so. England are the bookies' favourites to win. How crazy is that? I find that wild. To be fair, Germany as a country is supposed to be quite like England in a lot of ways. Well, in terms of like the pub kind of culture and stuff, so... Hmm. Would that help England? I don't know, I really don't know. I'd, if they get knocked out, I'd love them to get knocked out early, because I don't like Gareth Southgate. So if England aren't going to win it, I want them to get knocked out in the group stages and lose all three games. Just look absolutely stupid. I oh, just so funny. Because I don't think Southgate's that good. That's why I want him to go to United. But people keep saying to me, why do you want Ten Hag to leave? Like, he's going to get Southgate to do Yeah, England did lose Saturday at home against Brazil. Brazil was special though, didn't they? I didn't, like I said, I haven't seen the game. I haven't even seen the goal. I was just relieved because I I went to place a bet on a draw, was what I was going to bet on. And um, I forgot to place it. And then I saw the score in like the 70th minute with 0-0. I was like, oh no. It was 9 to 1, so I was thinking about putting 10 to 20, couldn't it? Which would have been 100, 200, couldn't it? So I was, you know. It's a good job. That it, what was that? One, I didn't place the bet because it didn't come in anyway. What do I think of the blue card? So I, I play in a, um, like a weight loss football league on a Friday night called Man vs Fat. Where basically you know you play football and then they add, you get bonus points for losing weight and then they add the scores together. We have blue cards instead of red cards. Like we, red cards are more common. Red cards are less common. They do have red cards, but like, you know, you gotta do something bad to get a red card. They have the blue card thing, which we've got Simmin. 
And it works quite well, to be fair, because it's... Like, a yellow card isn't really a punishment. The thing is, referees don't like to give second yellows. That's another problem. But yeah, to be fair, it works well. I just... I don't know who it was. I want to say Jamie Carragher. Said they can't even... Like enforce the rules we've got now why we'll start adding more which is true as well like I don't know if I don't know if having a blue card at like professional level just makes shit more confusing yeah it's good man honestly I've I've lost like 15 kilos from it or something I actually did a video about it if you want to see more details I did like a a video about my experience when I used to go in Ipswich and then I've just since I moved to Lincolnshire I've started going to a different one now um, but yeah it's a cool idea you basically you know you play football and then if you lose weight you get bonus goals basically as a team so it's, it's a cool idea because it's I'm not that motivated to lose weight, but I'm motivated to win football games. So it's like a alternative motivation, but also like your teammates support you because you're in it together. Do you know what I mean? Like they want you to do well because if you do well, they win games. So it's like a yeah, it's like a real sort of team action. It's nice. I would recommend it to anyone. Can't do a three two down now. Go, go and bring us back in the free swim. Nunes couldn't get himself through there. They like going to the gym with loads of people around. I think they might talk about it. Yeah, man, gyms can be intimidating, can't they? But I don't like going to the gym when it's busy. But I really like playing football. Like, I really enjoy playing football, so it, it you know, matter of fact, perfect for me. Just stupid foul that. Uh. You know, the last three penalties have been coming down the middle, haven't they? So, do we just stick for the next one? Freaking Yaya Torre as well, isn't it? Back drop and road. Oh, it's like Suarez doing that one. Oh, sorry, he just do that dribble that kind of hits the defender then comes back to him. But yeah, man versus fat is welcome. And another thing that's nice about it is like, everyone's fat. So it's not like, do you know what I mean? Or if they're not fat now, they were. But yeah, honestly, it's, it's a really good program. I really recommend it. Also, I don't know how it works in Sheffield, but in some counties, if you're over a certain weight, you can actually get your first so many weeks free as well, like your first, like, 12 weeks or something, so that's, that's worth investigating as well, you know.
like I said, I, I did a video about my experience and stuff where I talk about it in way more detail than I could sort of ever go on to here. Um, and I've got my actual exact numbers and stuff. And I've got the trophy that we won because we won the league and I show my medal and stuff. But yeah, if you check out working your own, you might be able to get the first few weeks free as well. It's handy, you know, if you can try it rather than pay. Five balls, Yota scores. I think they're going to run. Or are they going to bring on subs? I think they're bringing subs on because they're taking their time. I don't really blame them about. Like, I'd be tempted to... It's 5-4, do you know what I mean? I'll be tempted to carry on and try to play. See what you can do, isn't it? Lots of beers. That's, that's always the problem, bro. Okay, I think Addison should save that. They've made their changes. Now I'll make mine. Torres and Balotelli. Sterling. Johnny Barnes, come on. Are you not entertained, guys? <laughs> five five. Right, five five. He's better than Liverpool versus Manchester United a couple of weeks ago. I have got this. I have got this. Don't worry. Don't worry, Jamie. We got this. Mario Balotelli thinks he's got it on his own, but he can't get past his mate Yaya from, from the city days. Offside, aren't I? Oh, I was onside. I messed about because I just thought he's offside. Played with a whistle. That's what they say, isn't it? John Barnes puts pressure on this, just cleared it. They haven't got back though. Torres. Oh, done. Was this though Poates? Mario finds space everywhere, doesn't he? Stepped in Bowser's castle. Onside? Oh, that's a big call that that's onside. Sweaty. Sweaty. Is the only thing man you want? The new ground apparently cost them three billion. Yeah, it's mental, isn't it? Hundred thousand seats they're talking about as well, which is obscene. Like, I'd love to see the data that shows they can sell that. 
like I'd be fascinated to see what that's based on. Because the thing is, empty seats at football stadiums cost money. Like, like not even just to build them, it's also like the steward costs and stuff. If you have a stand open and it's half full, you still a lot of the time have to have like the same amount of stewards and stuff for like fire safety and nonsense like that. Not nonsense, fire safety is important, but not that. Oh, Johnny Barnes! Whoa, this way through. I went near post and that nearly come off. Awful from McAllister. I don't know where it's going. But apparently United have a... Um, I think they own about 10 acres of land near Old Trafford. Because there was talk of them making like a Manchester United world, like a theme park. Um, yeah, I assume it's going to go there. But I don't know. Just still warm myself. That's how fatigued I am. It's been a long, long and very busy weekend after going to Liverpool, driving down there, driving back. I didn't drive, I sat as a passenger, but it's still tiring from the travel. I went to the zoo today, I walked miles today around the zoo. Miles and miles and miles. I had a good time though. The vlog of that will be up soon, like I said earlier. Hiccups. So we're in there extra time. I'm going to call it telly time. Put it in. Okay, I committed to try to win the ball there. They're now three versus one. The office does manage to get there. Somehow. Barnes, Bobby Clark with him. We've got Torres, who's offside, hopefully, because I wasn't going to know I missed it. Dicks the pigs. That's gone. Oh, near post. You don't get beaten at your near post. The first rule of goalkeeping. Got to be up early in the morning. See you next live. Cheers, man. Thanks for coming to hang out. Make sure you get your notifications on as well, because I don't always... It's normally Sunday night, but um, it's not always the same time. So, yeah, notifications are handy for that. So you know where to find me, but cheers for hanging out, man. Come on, we're two goals down now. I think it's gone. Yeah. All of a sudden, we just dipped out of, the, out of form, didn't we? Fair place to them. They kept that at 196 in the end. 
I'm just happy we went toe to toe with them for so long. Um, six games left. I'm one in two more wins for the next rewards as well. I just feel so tired. Might have to give some wins away, guys. Half eleven at night. I've been up since eight. We well, weren't super early, but. You know, I've been busy this weekend, so I'm tired. Old team are just like teleported out there. Paul Visto versus Salah. I'm fairly confident in Paul Visto's pace. I keep at least near him. Unlucky there, Salo. He went a long way. And he did everything right for a long time as well. Harland managed to bring Van Dijk all the way across. Salah scores. You know what Mo Salah's doing when that ball comes to him, don't you? Almost leaked through, you know. Come on. There is spaces in this game if we can just find them, but then there's spaces for them too. Look at that, it's too easy. It's too easy. It's KDB scores, yeah, game over. Games are left. Do some math. So five. We need. Yeah, we're gonna give the wins away now. Um, I know it's not the best performance, guys, and apologise to the guys watching live and the people watching pre-recorded as well. It's really tired. So we'll give the wins away. Just the reason I'm doing that rather than just calling it there is we'll get to open the rewards on stream. And it helps other people. If you have games left, give the wins away. Help other people get their, get their points. But the more cards on the market, the more coins on the market. The more coins on the market and the more cards on the market, the cheaper stuff is for you. That's quite, not quite how supply and demand works, but kind of is. Play! I'm going to get these games smashed out so we can get the rewards. Then I can go to bed and go to sleep. Rewarding market. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. They're going to force it again, aren't they? Do 
No, I was going to give him a win, but... They're going to put themselves there for the taking. I'm going to take him. That's killer instinct, man. I was going to let him win it. I can start wasting my time by pausing and we're playing. Oh. I hope no one like stop watching the stream before we're done playing the game. Your song? That flip comes off, he scores. I'm convinced of that. Again, I've oh, plenty of offside in this game, that's for sure. That was on. Still climbing with a nut ball. Two. Are you quit now? No. Want me to score more? I don't want to play with a centre half on a booking, so I'll take Can I Help in the first half. That's controversial, not everyone would do it, but. You gotta make big calls and you manage these big clubs like Lynx Legends, do you know what I mean? What are they doing? I think they've got a coin boost or something they're trying to use. They've got to play the whole game. To the past. Should have been straight. <laughs> Bean Gerard, take a bow, son. It's bouncing it's on the half volley, and he just side foots it into the top bin. Absolutely, Stephen Gerrard at his peak, that. So we only need one win out of the rest of the games now, so we are going to go for it. I'm reinvigorated. Just one win out of four. We might even get a freebie. That would be good. If we get a freebie, we'll give three away, and we'll feel good about it.
try to like quickly run through with Munez and try and like put them under the cost early. Got a score for one nil up. Here we go. I've given up. I've given up, but all of a sudden, like a phoenix from the ashes, we're in this. Yeah. Like you'd shoot when that lands on me, you wouldn't bring it down and pass. Like, sometimes I feel like stuff like that is even sweatier than like running through one on one with two people. Like this person is fully subscribed to that. Pop that matter, isn't it? It's okay, we, we know how, to, how they want to play. We can't beat them. Pull that off, though. So. That's a cheap little pass, so I don't mind that one so much. Went too soon, then I was only two and a half. I don't. Bill cut the back. So sweaty. Well, you want most Salah's got you. Wait, so what are they doing? Oh, no. Finish that was from mine. Moving on Panola. I wonder if it's the four star, four star one. But there's some people have been using the. Uh, it's like a four star, four star upgrade. People have been using it on the Aldo. I should have known they were going to square that. That's what they always do. I think part of the problem with the cutback matter in this FIFA is it makes people like, it like normalises sweaty goals. People say, oh, I'm just playing the meta cutback. I don't know, you're sweating, bro. Is. 
ball. Foul in there now? Of course there isn't. This person is going to play dirty somewhere. We're going to go ultra defensive. We're going to back forward now. Oh, they're in sweaty, so why I went down the middle. I don't I don't go down the middle at principle. I think it's dirty. You know, back in the Pez days we call it dirty middle. Call it a dirty Mr. Roy. I wasn't hoping for it. Well, it's 6 3. They've played the sweatiest, dirtiest game of football I've ever seen. No one's in the box now. Didn't really score. I might have a good go at this. Offensively, considering. I don't think I've ever conceded three in ultra defensive back five. Ever. In my entire life. That's done for everything though. Just, just, then why you, like, where's the enjoyment in playing, like, the little cutback thing? And, like, I don't know, to some people, like, winning is more important than enjoyment. And, yeah. Come on. It's of his right foot. I don't know how to score with right foot. First time for everything now. Funny thing is, this probably, person's probably fuming with how toxic I'm playing now. But like, I don't, I don't like playing like this. I'm just, I mean, people play a one jump sometimes. I'm like, fine, I'll show you that I can do that too. I'm gonna do this toxic, you know, keep your fullbacks back thing.
have it open. Well, the only weakness to my plan now is that they know I want to shoot with John and Uta. Gonna make the changes, you know. I'm gonna play Balotelli on the left because I think his five star skill moves are gonna help me waste time. Nearly got me with a cut back. You can see from the way they're starting to foul me a bit that frustration is creeping in. That's the second one. I was taking the fist too much at this point, I'm not sure. Start trying to score with Nestor on his left foot. That's when you know you've got him, isn't it? Well, nine minutes left. Just don't concede two. And if you do score, it's an easy mission, right? Ambo, what are you saying, Ambo? Strings good. How are you been? You're good, how am I? I'm good. I've been to Liverpool this weekend, so I'm very tired. But I'm good. Couldn't let him call it back. That's all I had to stop. Oh, 
awesome to have a good time. Yeah, I want to watch Liverpool. I'm legend. I mean, it's alright. It's really good. And then today I went to Chester Zoo. So, um, I had an awesome time. It was very busy. And I'm now tired. Full time. I had to be that person. I was playing so toxic. Ethan's back. What are you saying? Ethan, you got back in time for rewards. Let's go. Remember to smash that like button as well, guys. Come on. Had to sleep. Better playing that. Did they have penguins? Yeah, they did. I vlogged it. So there'll be a vlog on my YouTube channel. In a bit. I don't know when. Need to edit. What? So we're losing on purpose now. If anyone's confused. Um, so we can get the rewards open. But yeah, they had the little small penguins, like the little one. It was quite cool, quite nice. They had like a, like a swimming pool for them and they were like diving in and out and stuff. They had a little mini aquarium place, like a building just for fish. I enjoyed that. They had tigers, orangutans. Yeah. Good fun. This person's quitting because they want free wins when I was going to give them a free win. Do I have any reviews coming up? Um, do you know what, bro? I don't know if I do actually. I don't think I've got anything like planned. Review wise. Um, I don't think what I've got coming up. Let me. Find out. Oh, so I've got my birthday vlog coming. Where I go to the aquarium. And um, enjoy my birthday. So I went to Yarn with aquarium for my birthday. Then I've got a vintage Funko Pop haul. Um, so I bought a bunch of Harry Potter Funko Pops from Vintage. Um, so that's common, and then I also have a video of me getting some new corals filmed. They're all filmed, um, just not edited. Well, all somewhat edited. Seem to do thumbnails and stuff for those videos. But there should be at least two, maybe three videos out during this week. Um, next week there's two Ipswich Town vlogs. Ipswich Town play twice next week. Yo, is it no? Is it twice? No, not next week. The week after. You watch my recent review. Cheers, man. Appreciate you as always. Right, here we go. Right, two, one or two eighty four. Let's go. This is reward time. This is what we're here for. Costage. That's decent. I'm not that excited, but it's decent. That is meh. Right, let's go over and get the objectives and then the pack. Ten objectives. It says. Well, it keeps doing this thing. Where it's like you've done a billion objectives, and I've done like none. On my birthday. That Luke was was different, it just it just wasn't special. You know? 
Season 1, if they play again. Season progress, we have an 84 by 2 That could yield something nice. And then we have a Tuzzy, who's some football, well, EFC player, I guess. Um, I'm not up to date on the pro players nowadays. I don't, I don't watch the competitive end of FIFA I just play it for fun right, 11 packs to open 11 chances to make me smile come on EA this is 80 plus times 2 so the odds aren't good it's Spain which is pain left and field Oyabaza Oyazaba I think you butchered the pronunciation at first, it's a dupe anyway. So that's not a good pack. 80 times 5, come on. Morocco Striker. Who's that? Oh, and Nasty. God, I was expecting something better than that, that's why I didn't expect him. I think. Right, so that's rubbish. We try again. 81 times 2. Come on. Germany. Cam. It's going to be Goethe. No, it's not. It's going to be Musiala. No, it's not. It's going to be Florian Wurtz. He's actually a decent player. Link with Liverpool at the moment. Um, I think it'd be a good sign. But don't know where he fits in. But then if Alonso comes in, he does fit in too. Liverpool. Change systems. I told you all I was tired. All right, 81 by 2. Come on, let's actually get something good now. Germany centre back. No idea who that is. Oh, it's Ginter. I didn't realize Ginter was that highly rated still. So nothing, nothing's got me out of my seat yet. 81 times 2 again. Italy, centre back. Probably been into you now. It's Kirby. Look at my knowledge. Probably the chair view isn't a dupe. It's one of the ones you always see in the pack. Although I did the Torres FPC recently. Oh, Stenter mid. Juventus. Rabio? Is he still there? Yeah. Come on. Right, 84. So these are at least 84. This could be better. Mm -hmm. No? Oh, I didn't want to see three of this. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Thiago Silva. Right, 84 times 3. This is better. Come on. Spain is paying left wing back to Grimaldo. Oh, no. The ball and Grimaldo card. Five eighty four plus and the woman 84, 85. Right, we now have a four times eighty-four. This could be the one, surely. Oh no! Oh, it's Hoiberg. Hoiberg. Eighty. That's literally only one eighty-five. And look, four dupes. What a waste of my time. Rare players, twelve of them. Now this is about money. Sadio Mane. No, it's not. That's rubbish. What does Darwin sell for? Does he have like, a cult following? No. That point in the game, we discard everyone. Like, Jumbo, 
24 players, all rare. Here we go. There's a bit of colour on that one. It's Canada player. Laureen, 88 rated. I don't think they're worth anything, are they? Put them. Kyle Loren, 15,000 coins. Wow. That is not going to do anything special for me. Laporte will bring a little in. Sane brings a little in. There could be someone else hiding in the dupes at the back that's half decent. Um... Oh, that's all going to be... No, it's not. Look. Oh, that's awful. Genie one album, though. What a guy he was. So, yeah. Lower in is something, but not the best rewards we'll ever see. But like I say, I'm not hurting for money too much. I've got the really expensive Darwin Nunes just for a laugh, basically. Because we packed them back out the other day, so I'm not going to whine about my pack luck at all. Um... Thank you all for coming to hang out on this stream. You see my Liverpool Legends versus Ajax scarf behind me. And my new You'll Never Walk Alone hat. Um, yeah, thank you for hanging out. Sorry I was so tired. But, um, yeah, I need to go to bed now. <laughs> night, am, mate. Night, Ethan. Good night, Legends. All there's left to say is I've been linked. You've all been my Legends. Thank you for watching this. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. And I'll see you all real soon.